guys so today's video is going to be a get ready with me i'm going to my friend's birthday party and i want to glam myself up so i decided that i would record that and um you know let you guys see how i'm getting ready i want to do a full face of makeup i want to do a full glam so let's go ahead and get started because that takes a while all right so i already have my primer on i use the Too faced hangover primer it's in my bathroom now but uh, i just like to wash my face before i do my makeup i prefer to apply the primer straight after i wash it so yeah and for foundation i want to use i want to try out something new i'll go with this nyx hd studio um foundation and i have it in the shade soft beige i think that this is not the right color for me i think that it's too yellow and I believe I used this once, but I can't really remember. So let's go ahead and see how it looks. Yeah, it's really yellow. Maybe you're wondering why I'm testing it on my forehead, but that's not the right shade for me. I'm gonna mix it with the Revlon Color Stay in the shade Buff. Hopefully it will look better. <sighs> that's too much. <laughs> I'm gonna mix them together on the back of my hand. Okay, and for concealer, I'm going with the Revlon Color Stay again. Um, I have it in the shade Fair, so I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes. And then using my Beauty Blender, blend it out. I'm setting it in place with the Rimo Stay Matte Powder. Just gonna make sure that there are no creases. And then I'm using the Sigma F04 to apply that powder on top of it. Just really gently pressing it into the skin. I also use that concealer as an eyeshadow primer. And no matter if you're using a regular eyeshadow primer or concealer or foundation or whatever you like, you always want to go ahead and set it with some face powder or a nude eyeshadow so that the shadows that you apply on top of it will blend a lot easier. So I'll go ahead and set it with some face powder and that's also going to prevent it from creasing. And again, I'm pressing that powder into the, into the skin. I'm not like swiping. So before we jump to the eye makeup, let's go ahead and do the eyebrows really quickly. You know that it won't be really quickly because eyebrows. To fill them in, I'll use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brow Pomade. The brush I'm using to apply it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12. I'm using some foundation to clean up the edges, make them nice and sharp. Alright, so the eyebrows are done and now for the eye makeup, I want to do something that I've never done before. I want to do a look that it's all brown and the outer corners are a little bit darker. I usually go for a really bright eyelid and um, you know dark outer corners, but I want to do today like dark eyelid and even darker outer corners. So we'll see how this turns out, I'm excited to, to see the end result. So this is the Jouer essential matte and shimmer eyeshadow palette and what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take this shade right here and it has a very very small amount of shimmer in it just almost invisible and i will take it on the sigma e52 it's actually super large very convenient and i'm going to apply that all over my eyelid area And now that I have something like that, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> I'm taking the Morphe M513 brush and using this shade right here, again from that Jouer palette, I'll use circular motions to diffuse that eyeshadow into the crease. See, it looks a lot better when it's blended out. Now I'll take this darker brown shade right here and using the Sigma E25, I will apply it in the outer corners of my eyes. Taking again some of this shade, actually I'll mix it with the other next to it, mixing these two together. And again with that Morphe M513, I'll use it to blend out all of the harsh lines. Wow. 
applying one more layer of that dark brown shade in the other corner just to build up the intensity and taking again the Morphe brush diffusing all the harsh lines I think that this is my new favorite look I really like how it looks so along my lower lashes I was much that I showed that I also applied all over my eyelid and the brush I'm using is the Sigma E20 and I'm connecting it here with the other eyeshadows I'm absolutely obsessed with this look I love I just I'm in love with it you know that moment when you're going out and you're in a hurry and you're trying to do your makeup but you come up with a look that you really like yeah that's true happiness that's how I'm feeling right now <laughs> next I will do some winged eyeliner I'll use my Maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner Okay, and now that I have my wings on, it's time to add the false lashes. I'll go with the House of Lashes Iconic Light. I love the false lashes, you guys. They, they just, they do make a difference. Saying that might make some of you think that I'm wearing false lashes even to go to the grocery shop, but I don't do that, guys. I'm not really afraid to go with bare face. I mean, makeup is such a nice thing, but it's not an obligation, it's not something that I have to do so that I can go out, you know. It's if I have time to do it or no, you know. And wear makeup for yourself, not for the others. Really important. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with the eyes. Now let's go ahead and finish up the face. I'll bronze with this shade right here. This is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette. And I'll use the Sigma F40 to apply it on my face. I'm gonna also take it on the top of my forehead. I was planning on adding some contour, but nah, I'm gonna skip it. So we're jumping straight to the highlighter and I'll use this one here by Makeup Forever. Just going to apply it on the top of my cheekbones. Oh, look at that. This is the first time I'm using this one. It has like a, a rose glow in it. It's pretty, it's really pretty. I'm gonna also apply it on my nose. A little bit right here above my eyebrow and on my cupid's bow. I'm adding it in the inner corners of my eyes and on the brow bone. And some blush just to add some color to my face. This is by Sigma, it's in the shade Pet Name. It's one of my favorite blushes. And on the lips, I'll go with the brown beige lipstick. This one is by Makeup Geek. It's called Jet Setter. And I love the formula of these lipsticks. They're so different from any other lipstick that I have. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. And this lipstick is not long lasting and uh, it's not smudge proof. It's just sitting on your lips. It's not like absorbing and grabbing into them. But what I love about it is that it's not drying. Some of the matte lipsticks, there they make your lips feel really dry and nasty and I hate that feeling. This doesn't do that. However, I have to reapply it throughout the day. But I mean, that's not that big of a deal. It's just the texture is really airy like it's like mousse or something like that i don't know i don't i'm not sure how to explain but it's really good so yeah this is the video so guys i i just love how this eye makeup turned out and i think that i'll start doing more of this kind of makeup where the eyelid is darker and the other corner is even darker <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and i gotta go now because i'm running late as always and i just want to remind you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because it helps me a lot you can also follow me on my instagram facebook twitter and also visit my blog all of the links will be down in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye